Now, we all know you can't instruct people to become engaged. You have to lead them. You have to inspire them. You have to show them. You have to illuminate what's possible. You have to explain, and you have to do it every hour of every day. It's called leadership, but that's not enough. To truly engage people, you need what I would describe as a design system that explicitly links not just a suite of tools and techniques, but a whole philosophy of working to the key steps which commence the employee engagement journey. Here's the parallel with what I've learned about implementing the Unipod way throughout my operating companies, and more recently in our branch network, and with clients and business partners around the world. To be truly successful and achieve high levels of performance through engaged people, it is critical to have available all of the tools and techniques and then engage in deliberate practice under a great coach. He or she will signpost the appropriate tools to be used at the appropriate time as part of the day job. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is littered with failed lean implementations because it looks easy, but it's not. So what I've learned uh, that I think may be helpful to you. Firstly, unambiguous leadership from the top. Second, a definitive world-class body of knowledge. Third, a place to see it all working. Fourth, a great architect or sensei to work out what to do and where and when to do it. Next, someone who can constantly tell you which tools to use in which sequence and help you make progress at the right speed. Next, an integrated system of tools that work together like a symphony rather than a range of disconnected initiatives which, although they may deliver short-term results, generally crash and burn shortly afterwards. You need guides by your side to coach in the moment because what you need to do is often counterintuitive, but if you fail to do it correctly, it's easy to get stuck and disheartened. You need to set deadlines and demanding targets and put time and effort into supporting those that are struggling to cope technically and emotionally, but are committed. But equally well, and here's the controversial bit, those that are determined to frustrate progress at every turn must be moved on and out, and be seen to be. By the way, that's generally not the people on the shop floor. Now, I know that many of you feel under pressure to achieve quick wins, and we know how to do that as well. But in my view, unless these are part of the system that creates genuine employee engagement and builds capability for what we call problem solving at your own level, and embeds the foundations for a culture of continuous improvement, the grass will grow back and all the savings will be lost. 